Hi guys and welcome to the latest video. Um, this is quite an interesting video and something I hope some of you will find useful. Um, if you've been on the market looking for a video capture device, something to maybe capture your webcam, sorry, your mirrorless camera and use it as a webcam, or if you were looking to capture a games console perhaps, um, or anything like that, you'll have seen that the prices of capture cards can be quite high. I was looking myself at the Elgato Camlink, which um, at the moment is still selling consistently for more money than its retail by a long way. Retail price for the Elgato Camlink 4K is about £120. You're lucky if you can get one for about 170 at the moment, and a few weeks ago it was topping out near £300. Pounds. Um, I wasn't prepared to pay for that and also I'm not sure that I really need 4k um, because it just means more editing bigger files I'm quite happy with a good 1080p image um, to that end I went on to Amazon and I took a risk and I picked up this little device here uh, which is a very cheap uh, 57 pound capture card uh, from Amazon which connects to your computer via a USB cable. Um, it's a USB-C to a USB 3 cable or sorry I, I've got it connected to a USB 3 port but um, so USB-C to USB 3 I've got that going to and then I've got a HDMI cable going out from here um, into here from the camera. Um, so and the camera I'm using is a Canon M6 Mark II so that's what you're watching right now you're actually seeing um, all auto just because I wanted to keep it simple um, I, I didn't want to kind of adjust the picture quality I wanted to show you what you'd get as an out-of-box type setup so auto settings on the camera straight into this capture device straight in here and and, and into OBS um, just so you know in OBS I'm recording this using um, Nvidia's NVENC at 30 um, thousand kilobits per second so like a 30 megabit per second record rate and it's at 1080p 30 frames a second right so that's what we've got going on it seems to be working pretty well this does seem to get a bit toasty warm but nothing that you can't handle you can see I'm holding the device and it's absolutely fine um, so a very cheap and what seems to be functional uh, capture card, uh, a capture device, uh, which is allowing me to use my uh, Canon Canon M6 Mark II as a um, as a webcam if I want for streaming or just to record videos into OBS, etc. Um, now I wanted to do a few comparisons so you guys can see the difference uh, you can expect to get between um, using a setup like this, which obviously is more equipment, more expense, more wires versus a very popular webcam called the Logitech C920 um, which I have over here so this is the C920 um, that you're now looking at um, again I've got everything on auto apart from focus I wanted to put the focus on manual and I've, I've got it set to always be focused so you can see that it should be pretty sharp um, colors everything everything else white balance is all auto just to match what you get out of the Canon as it were uh, well not to match it but you know just to match the settings as in they're both on auto so this is what you'll get using the Logitech um, and if I switch back to the Canon this is the Canon obviously with the Canon you've got the option of adjusting stuff manually um, you've got the zoom um, and obviously I can go in and go crazy on on settings if I wanted to and and if we do a little comparison um, you know I'll show you what that looks like so on the top left is obviously Canon M6 Mark II um, and then there is the uh, that there is the um, 920. I'm recording using my own microphone. I don't know whether both are going to sync up properly. I hope they sync up close enough anyway. But I just wanted to show you guys what you can expect. Is it worth the the extra expense and cost? I mean, if you've got a mirrorless camera, you've probably got one for recording um, anyway, like for recording videos or taking photos. Um, I've always I've always liked to have a, a dedicated camera in the past for taking photos of my kids as they were growing up, um, days out, things like that, and obviously recording now home videos and like family videos when we're going out and about um, but now I've got the option if I want to use my camera also as a good quality webcam and I just wanted to see for myself as well really um, is it worth the extra expense um, so I'm, I'm gonna be myself taking a look back at this video and seeing what it comes out like I've not tried using the um, using the the what, capture device as a part of a live stream just yet um, although I will be trying that out as well at some point but this is a very basic as you can see made in China very simple USB 3 
um, HD capture um, device. It seems to be doing the job pretty nicely. It looks decent. I mean, to my eyes, the Canon camera is obviously looking better than the webcam, but, you know, it could be, but it, after all the compression, etc., is it that much of a difference for, for you to bother with one of these? That's going to be down to you. But obviously, this does add a bit of flexibility. If I wanted to, I could also use this to capture video games and um, video games consoles if I wanted to stream those. But it's a very functional capture card for only £57. Um, compare that to the price that the Elgato stuff and the Ava Media stuff sells for. £57 is this seems a pretty good deal to me so I just wanted to make this video just so you guys can see the the difference in the quality uh, for yourselves so let me just one more time what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, switch back so here is the Canon M6 Mark II being captured into this generic uh, <laughs> um, capture card capture device external capture card from Amazon for £57 um, tell me what you think I think it looks pretty good anyway here I'm not sure what the recording is going to come out like after the, all the compression etc uh, but there we go and then I will also uh, now share with you guys uh, just for comparison's sake um, here is the Logitech C920 um, which is also being sold for extortionate prices at the moment but normally you can pick this up for about the 40 to 50 pound mark I actually bought my Logitech C920 when Amazon were doing a sale on this webcam and I got it for 30 pound brand new because they would they did like a flash 50% off I think they had it up at 60 pounds at the time and they reduced it down to 30 pounds and I picked one up it's a very good webcam as you can tell from the quality um, Obviously, I don't think it quite matches um, the M6 Mark II, but I think that's, is, is it worth it? You know, cost of the camera, cost of the lens, cost of the capture device, um, that's something for you to decide um, whether you feel like the extra quality or perceived quality is worth it. And again, I'll just give you one last peek at a side-by-side -side comparison of what the webcam looks like uh, next to the... Um, the Canon camera um, and all this is being done like I said using this uh, simple capture um, card so you can have a look at that there from Amazon 57 quid not bad um, I hope you found the video useful if you did let me know um, if you've got any comments or questions leave them in the comment section but I just thought it was worth sharing that uh, there are alternatives out there really to the big brand stuff and some of the off-brand generic cheap looking stuff does function um, and does actually work just fine. Thanks for watching.